the last minute news about Ben was obviously a blow to the team. How did you address that with them and how do you think they kind of handled that news? I think they responded well. I mean, this, this is a, a close knit team and, and we talk about lifting each other up and unity is one of our big pillars. And I really thought, um, you know, our, it was one less guy in the front court. And I thought, obviously, these two guys sit up here, Jaden did the job, but I thought Caden, you know, really gave us some rim protection, played hard, and Francisco did as well. And that, that mattered. And, and, you know, again, we just said we got we to gotta be true to who we are and kind of double down on it. And uh, I thought the guys played as hard as they could. And, um, again, losing a guy that's played a lot, um, that's always tough, but you rallied, this, this group rallied around that and each other and came out and played, you know, against a team that was playing some hot basketball from the last game. To our left, the aisle. Uh, Frank Maloney, who's talking on a 9-10, the fan. Question for Jaden and Caden. Uh, you guys haven't played that much recently together on the court. Tonight, though, you looked like you'd been playing all season together. What happened? Jaden, just, just that North Carolina connection, man. <laughs> uh, we had a whole last year together, and uh, we, played, we, played, we played frequently th this year, but, you know, Caden stayed ready and stayed poised and uh, waited for his moment, man. I'm just happy for him that he was able to impact the game like that. But, yeah, me and Caden's connection is strong on the court. Caden? Yeah, I agree. Um, we spent a lot of time together the last two years on and off the court. So, you know, I think what we have uh, we'll never lose, no matter if, uh, how, how long one of us isn't playing with the other. But, yeah, I mean, it just felt good to be back out there with him and everybody else. Again, to our left. Uh, Jack Brisenine, 3304 Sports. Coach, Caden had five blocks tonight. And uh, what what did you like about his defensive performance? And Caden, what allowed you to be so dominant on the defensive end? Um. You know, I, I, I like to consider myself a shot blocker. So, you know, going into games, you know, I'm trying to make sure I'm helping my teammates out because uh, when I'm in the game, they, they know I'm going to be there to have their back. So I, I just can't let them down. And, you know, I'm always going to be there for my boys. So um, that, that's just my job, I feel like. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. Yeah, I think that adds, you know, defensively and, and Caden, his timing was good. And, you know, we talk about when to go and when not to. And for the most part, I thought he, he was right on it. And that, that really, because they're quick, Carolina, off the dribble. And those times when either they break you down and you're out of position and you can uh, erase a play like that was significant. And so, again, I didn't realize Caden had five. That's, that's great. Front row. Yeah, June Wong with the Washington Post. Caden, um, can you... When you find out about Ben, can you kind of take us through your thought process coming into this game and then that last sequence where you had that block on RJ and then the dunk that kind of, and you let out a huge scream after that to kind of seal it. You take yeah. us through that, take it through that sequence too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, find out about Ben was hard. Um, you know, nobody expects that to happen. And so when you're kind of just thrown back into the action, you know, you just got to make sure you're ready. Um, so I'm here to pick Ben up because I know he's going through a lot right now and I'm just going to try and play as hard as I can, not only for myself and my team, um, but specifically for Ben. So um, anything I do out there is, you know, I'm thinking about him and, you know, he, he should be out, here, out there with us. Um, you know, that sequence was fun, uh, brought back some memories. Hopefully we have a few more of those this year. So, Aisle left. Uh, yeah, our Kip Coons, Press Box View. Our Caden, again, you don't play for three games and you hadn't played since the previous Carolina game. How did you stay ready, and did your uh, performance tonight, you know, you were in foul trouble. How did you avoid getting that fifth? You know, uh, I know a lot of people, or I do foul a lot, but, uh, uh, you know, I've kind of gotten used to playing with four. Uh, I think, you know, once I hit that limit, I'm like, all right, it's time, like, I got to calm down, but maybe I should probably do that earlier. <laughs> but, uh, um, you know, I was just staying ready. I was taking, you know, I was treating practices like game days in my mind. I was excited to get out there and, you know, play against uh, the starting five and all that. And, you know, it, it was great extra reps for me. Um, so that, you know, just, just the reps in practice were big for me. I, I tried to treat it like a game and, you know, that's probably the hardest I've practiced like in this last month or so. Um, uh, yeah, that's probably the hardest I've practiced last month, month or so. Back of the room. Dick Cox with Lindy Sports and Cox Sports Broadcasting. Tony, can you talk about every time North Carolina made a run tonight, you answered with one of your own and just pulled away from them again? Yeah, I mean, I thought, you know, we were running good, tough offense. Our guys were screening well. We got some nice drives. And, um, you know, it just I just thought it was a 
kind of a slugfest in a way, and it was who was going to be last standing. But you have to answer, you know, and they make some big plays. I thought our defense was really good, but you have to answer. Um, and our guys stayed within themselves, took the shots that were there. I don't know how many turnovers we had, uh, six total, but for the most part, we were, we were doing a good job. Didn't let them get going in transition. And um, you just could kind of feel that. But I loved how hard our guys worked offensively, and of course I did defensively. Middle of the room. Joshua Dolgoff, UNC Sports Extra. Question for Coach Bennett. This is the third game in a row you guys have really shut down Caleb Love. What was your game plan defensively to be able to lock him down again? Well, make him earn. I, I thought, you know, a couple times they hurt us when they got across the top on a ball screen, but, you know, Reese did a terrific job on him, and then Kihei did. But our defense is predicated, of course, on individual talent. You know, Caden's ability to block, Jaden's ability to, you know, move with his quick feet, and, and Reese and Kihei and the other guys. But it's, it's really a a helping each other defense. And when you know you've got guys in the gap, guys helping on screens, connect it, covering for each other, I think that really helps. And of course, all you can do is make them earn. RJ got going a little bit, um, but um, we just made them earn most of the night and, and just took the challenge. Back of the room right. Trayvon Miles, ABC 11 in Raleigh. This question is for Jaden and Caden. Uh, with you guys being uh, from the triangle and extended area, uh, was there any more juice coming into this game? And is there any more, uh, I guess, satisfaction leaving this game with a victory? Jaden. Um, it's always juice when you play in uh, North Carolina because, you know, this is the hoop state. So I'm just, it's special to play in this time of year in uh, Greensboro for the first time for me. And, you know, growing up, they rolled the TVs out in middle school and high school and it's <laughs> ACC country. So uh, just a special time and I'm happy I can be a part of it. Caden. Yeah, of course, like Jaden said, you know, I love being back in North Carolina whenever I can be. So, you know, playing here is pretty special, especially um, on this level. You know, we grew up watching this. Uh, in school, you know, literally all, all day um, when March came around. So it's fun to actually be able to, you know, reverse roles and now there's kids watching us. And, you know, playing against Carolina schools in general is just, is, you know, it's a lot of fuel for, for us. But, um, you know, we, tr we treat every opponent the same. So um, I'm going I'm to keep this fire the rest of the way. Left aisle. Uh, Jaden and Tony, if you could weigh in on this too, because of the number of veterans you have, seniors you have, there was high expectations for this team. Is this the kind of game, especially as it got tight at the end at the free throw line, that, that veterans kind of rise up in? you want to coach? Jaden, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, that's what we're predicated on with all the experience we have. You know, we, we lost uh, BVP tonight, but uh, we have a lot of veter uh, veteran leadership with, you know, Kihei, Reese, myself, uh, Poppy, Caden. So we have guys that have done it before, and uh, we're going to need our younger guys as well. So it's just up to us to lead and lead by example tonight. Yeah, I think we needed everyone. We really did. And, and I just, um, you know, again, and staying ready. And that's the one thing. That's why I was so proud of Caden. You know, I just told him, stay ready, be a great teammate, and, and work tremendously hard. And, and that's one of the, mo the beautiful things about sports. And he had his number called, and he was ready. And and that encourages me, and there's nothing better. One of the hardest things is not being able to play guys as much as you want, but I think these guys know you always stay ready, and it's going to take all of us. And, you know, we got nine guys, actually, without Ben. There's nine guys. Tane didn't get in, but he got in the last couple games, but nine guys able to play. And so um, almost treating it like we did in Italy. We'd sit three and play nine, and those nine got to go the distance, and, and they did a great job. Front row. Tony, uh, free throws at times have been an adventure for this team. I think you're 9 of 10 in the final two minutes. You said the other day that you were saving them. Is this what you were saving them for? <laughs> that sounds good. Hopefully we're, we'll keep saving some more. Anyone else? We'll take our last question to left on the aisle. Uh, coach, uh, some coaches have referred to the regular season as a marathon, and some coaches have referred to – tournaments and uh, the NCAA tournament as a sprint. How do you feel about your team right now as you enter the sprints? Well, I mean, I think, you know, the marathon part, you know, I, we didn't listen to those guys saying how they rolled the TVs in for the ACC tournament. They didn't, that was Big Ten country, so it was the regular season and there was such pride in the regular season over that marathon. So the fact that these guys were able with the league is balanced as it was to get a share of the conference regular season was big time. And you come into this, and yeah, I think the guys 
for losing Ben that quick and seeing how these guys responded, um, that's what we want to see. And we don't assume anything. We just get as ready as we can. We're grateful. And um, we know we talk about not looking to the left or the right. That was the, the message today. Just be strong and courageous and um, step forward and, um, you know, trust your teammates and stay united. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.